Okay, you saw my video, uh, Zero Tolerance. And if you didn't watch the video, you made a comment. You better watch the video. What does zero tolerance mean? Well, this is the follow-up to that. This is called zero participation. I'm going to explain how both are changing the world, but more of us have to do it. And it could accelerate the positive, beautiful, peaceful change in this world. This is going to make sense for you, and it's going to be easy because you can actually participate in from your home no matter what. You can start today. I'm going to show you how simple it is. Let's go. Welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through your fears. Why are we in fear? We know we're on a planet of teachings. Oh, I don't want it to happen. Get used to it. We're here, but guess what? We can change it. I did a video called Zero Tolerance. Now, in a nutshell, it didn't mean that we don't tolerate people. We don't tolerate the actions. We actually do the opposite. We have acceptance of their decisions and their actions. We accept that that's what they're choosing. And we go into compassion and love and solutions so that they can go into a space of peace and not do these things. But we don't tolerate the actions themselves. So we take charge and we say this is not okay. And we remove the abused child or dog, or we create places where people can get out of situations. All right, this one you're gonna love this is gonna take this way farther than that. So zero tolerance means <clears throat> the behavior and actions on the planet, we will not tolerate it, but we're going to create solutions and say, if somebody's coming from fear and anger, they're not feeling love. They're not feeling compassion. And the more they do it, the less they feel love because people vilify them. We have to change that. We have to say, this person especially needs my compassion and love. Very Christ-like, right? Yes, why? Because they're not coming from that space where they see a option and they strike out because they're lacking that light of which they are, their light too but they're experiencing some very deep, dark uh, frequencies and vibrations. And if they're making choices on that and it gets worse and worse and worse, how do we pull them out of that? Why are you doing this? Let us show you that you're loved unconditionally no matter what. That's a tough one for a lot of you, right? Oh, I'm not going to do that. Well, then I guess you better throw your Bible away because all the teachings revolve around that. So are you going to go against that, those teachings of love unconditionally? Thank goodness that exists, because we wouldn't be here, right? We'd be extinguished. And nobody's done that yet. Why? Because there's unconditional love out there by other beings and the unseen world. Now, we are in a very dense holographic uh, play here on, on planet Earth, our matrix. It's not a, a prison. It is not a pre-programmed thing. It is a scenario that was created for and by us, and through our actions, we change the whole program. So we can go into golden era. So the matrix is an illusion of a golden era on a planet. We can do this. Now, zero participation, what does that mean? I want you to think about this. So uh, when we talk about former um, planetary uh, wars and battles, things like that, how did that ever happen? How did we have our last major planetary you know, uh, struggle? People had to participate. They may not have liked it, but they did it anyways. Now, you had a, people, a lot of people that went against that and snuck around. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's no plastic problem if you use nothing, refuse to use anything with plastic. No plastic. There is no toxic problem in our waters and our lawns if you're not spraying weed killer. There's no problem in our homes if you refuse to use any chemicals in your home, on your body, in your body. So you can't play stupid because you're not, because you're brilliant, you're perfect, you're amazing, and you have 
access to everything because we are one and all of us have different talents and skills. That's what diversity is. We take what's perfect and we blasted it out so that this person has uh, musical skills and art skills and science skills and all that, so that we are forced to pull that together to be amazing as seeming individuals. Isn't that cool, right? We're not doing that. We spend more time opposing, but that is changing. Now, so participation means, no participation means, that I'm only going to participate in that which I know is best and highest, and so if I need those answers, there are any number of resources and choices out there, and if I don't know them, I will find the person or groups that can help me get there. We have the internet. Sorry, you guys see this all the time. We're doing powerful things. These are free videos. Come on over. What are we doing? We are going global with our voices, our businesses, our choices, our offers. Now here's the really powerful thing. In the past, people participated because they feared for their personal selves. That's ego saying, if I don't participate, <clears throat> somebody's going to take out me and my family. Now, so they were resorting to, you know, eliminating the source of the issues of planetary conflict in our last war. <clears throat> now, if they'd have just not participated at all, now it takes some big kahunas because there will be consequences to that. Yes, of course there will. But what are the consequences if you don't do it? What are the consequences if you participate in that which you know is just um, not acceptable? It's way worse, right? Especially in the bigger picture because everything's cause and effect and karma and you have to answer for that, all right? So you don't want to mess this up this time because we're in the final stages of the greatest uh, evolution of our planet ever, ever. We're at a very huge turning point and this means zero participation, zero tolerance. We don't accept this, zero participation. I will not participate in this. I will not do the things that continue to destroy others and our planet. We walk. A lot of people are doing that. I'll give you an example for jobs. Millions and tens of millions in climbing here in the United States are walking off their jobs because they're no longer tolerating zero participation in that which is bad for them, the planet, uh, the behavior, the abuse, the control, all of it. They're walking zero participation. So then they go over and they create something positive, good for everyone themselves, happy, and so it's raising the frequency of the planet, one light being at a time. Now, our situation over in Europe <coughs> and beyond, and that is, <coughs> what if everybody just walked? Okay, you could say, well, those people would get put in, you know, behind bars. Not if there's anybody there to lock them up. They're not participating. Oh, well, who's going to take care of them? No one. If everybody walks and doesn't participate, and this sounds like far-fetched, it's not. Why is it far-fetched to think that, that the opposite can happen, the worst possible thing? That takes participation of everybody, doing stuff that's unheard of. Why is my theory so crazy? Zero participation and not doing anything other than peaceful non-participation, right? Peaceful. But this seems okay. Oh, this is feasible that everybody would go into the worst possible situations and could perpetuate the very thing that we don't want to happen. I believe that we can start zero participation, zero tolerance, still understanding that there is another solution for these people. Why are they thinking this way? What's wrong here in this scenario? What's lacking there? And if you look back, there's always a point where something went haywire in love and compassion. And we know that happened with World War II, you know, with our little guy, right? We know where he came from. And insecurity and lack of compassion and love and acceptance and choosing to go into that anger places somebody in a position to operate strictly on ego. So we have to look at that and say, that should never happen on this planet. How do we 
end that. And, and it starts with love and compassion and being aware of what happens out there. It, it's a global movement and communities. Not everybody has to think the same or be the same. Smaller communities work. But if we all operate on a higher level of compassion and love, solutions to the root of that density, that darkness, and we open our arms to that person just like Christ forgave those who murdered him. I keep saying that. He walked on waters. These things you shall do and more. We know what the answer is. We have to start doing it. Zero participation. What are you participating in now? Do you go to fast food places? Somebody said, why do children, but children are innocent, they have cancer. Said, yeah, well, why do you think that is? I don't know. Yeah, you do. What are you bathing them in? What's in your home? What are you giving them? Is it packaged? It's all poison. It's all toxins. We're so conditioned and used to it, we don't even realize what we're doing. I'm sorry, but you're awakened. Once you awaken, you know. And you have to look around and ask yourself, wow, I can't participate in that anymore. Boy, you know, I've had to give up some things I really, really liked. Chanel was one of them. No, no animal testing. No, seriously, they're in the department store. No, Andrea, no animal testing. I said, well, if they didn't use animal products or animal tests, they'd put it right out of there because that's a great selling point for somebody like myself. And I looked into it. I didn't buy it again. I looked into it. Well, they send it over and they get ingredients from other countries, I won't say which ones, that do animal testing and use animals, that disregard all of that. And I had to stop using them, but guess what? Greater choices are coming out. Why are better choices coming out? Because more of us are not participating. And when I don't participate, Chanel loses money. And when I, as an influencer, tell everybody not to buy Chanel till they stop doing that, their revenues will go down. You might say, oh no, yeah, no it really will. That's how powerful we are online and that's why I'm always promoting this. You have a voice. And so we change the world and so they have to start making changes and now there's all these healthier choices. You know, foods that are more organic, things that you can use on your body. And by the way, I struggled with teeth whitening. The other, the, to, the Toothpaste that weren't toxic didn't wipe my teeth. I finally found some. By the way, you guys go to landracket.com. I have healthy choices. And I list every product that I've tried and tested. And you can go in and buy them. Yes, some of them are affiliate links, of course. You want to do that? You can do that for a living. Tell people good things to buy. Give them choices and make money. These are free videos, by the way. You can check it out. No, no excuses. No participation. I want you to look around. What am I buying, eating, everything? And by the way, sometimes it's tough to make a different choice. You can do it. By the way, it's a lot of fun. Do you remember when I got sick with my coffee maker? I moved here to Florida and I uh, rented a place for six months till I got settled into my own place. They had a coffee maker. One morning, every morning I had coffee, I wasn't feeling right. I thought, maybe it just, it's just coffee. And one morning I threw up, just out of the blue. I didn't even feel sick. And I found out. It was a bacteria in the coffee maker that I couldn't possibly have known was there. And I threw up, it was over with. I've never used a coffee maker si since, and I have a glass container, and I filter my coffee through a metal container that I use over and over and over again every morning, and it's art. It's this little ceremony. It doesn't take longer. I heat up water, I boil water, and I pour it over, and there's nothing else going on there. I want you to know that you can go into a world that is so magical and amazing, creativity, and start doing things instead of all the entertainment and the garbage that if your kids are watching this, you know, negative, violent stuff, you are totally responsible for that. Zero participation, and guess what? They're going to love it. You think they won't? They will. Children are beautiful and perfect. And when we guide them to things that are healthy for them, they know because they're closer to God. The longer you're here, the more the veil comes down. We get, you know, polluted with all our own stuff. Zero participation, you with me? Zero tolerance. I'm going to step in and take the abused dog out of the situation, even if I put myself at risk. This is the key. This all over the globe, 
people will have to make a decision to put themselves at risk. But if they don't, the alternative is way worse. Wouldn't you rather put yourself at risk doing something amazing and not participating in the, the same old, same old that we've been doing than be at total risk by doing nothing and then, what, come back here again and try and fix it? You got one shot here. You ready? Yeah, and I didn't mean, uh, you know, that kind of shot. I'm talking about, oh, wait a minute, there's a couple of different kinds. You've got one chance here in this body. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is an amazing point. We have a chance to think completely different, to respond totally different. And guess what? Our galactic friends will step in at some point and say, it was that simple, but a real effort because you've been so programmed. That's okay. We can do it. What can you do today, starting with what's in your home, what you watch, what you give your children, what you do for other people? Everything counts. Compassion and love, solutions, zero tolerance, zero participation, and the entire planet changes. Please share this. Please subscribe. You know, I have free stuff down here. I have all kinds of courses. This is all free 15 videos as of this. That's going to change. I have all kinds of things for you to help empower you. I show you how to use the power of the quantum field. I show you how to break past your fears. And then I have a new course coming out called Activate Your Magic. It's advanced manifesting. We do some cray cray stuff. It's fun. Let's go there. I know you guys get this. I'm watching your comments, and it's beautiful. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. It's like my dad said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Love you. Namaste.